<laughs> so if you happen to go to Dollar Tree and maybe you have a really good Dollar Tree, I just wanted to test out these pins. I was not expecting to see all these different um, types of gel pins and a micro pin. If you're an artist of any sort, these are usually in the ink sets at like Michael's or any of your art supply stores or craft stores. So for the Dollar Tree to have this for $1.25, I really just curious to see the comparison. So we're going to compare this with a um, one of your, I guess, more uh, the craft store, art supply store micro pens by, um, let's see, I guess this brand is called Journaling Ink. No, Journaling by Ink Plus. It's definitely a Dollar Tree brand, I think, because most of the Dollar Tree things, if you're if you're a regular shopper at Dollar Tree, you know that Dollar Tree has, it. this is what they're normal, like distributed by, packed by, made in, and um, it looks exactly the same every time. You'll see in Canada or in China or both. So I, this is definitely a... Um, Dollar Tree brand, Journaling Ink, I guess. And they also have this pen, a Magna Tank Gel Ink. Um, of course, like I said, it says for journaling, but I'm just gonna test it out just to see how I might be able to use it um, with drawing and sketching and things. Uh, got a good old paper mate, felt tip style, um, and a Bic. A gelosity. I just love the look of the pen. That's one of the reasons why I got it. Extra smooth gel pen, long lasting writing. Okay. So really more interested in just testing these two out. And then while I saw those, I noticed their sketch pads. Well, this is a journal I picked up. So I guess this is like a art, art supply journaling haul from the Dollar Tree. The last journal I bought was probably anywhere between 10 and $20 on Amazon. Uh, this one does not have lines. They did have some with lines. I chose this one because this next uh, journaling book or pages I actually want to illustrate with my journaling. So I just wanted to try this one. It's only a dollar. I can go and get another one. Um, and this one will probably be one that I'm going to save for my son. I'm trying to do a lot of that, like thinking that my journals will be left to him and want them to be like illustrated and cute. So this is a journal I picked up, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Now here are the two sketchbooks that I came across while I was there. This one, of course, they, they look very inexpensively made, only a dollar. Um, so, you know, you're not expecting much. You could probably put one together yourself uh, if, if you wanted to, but you know, some people don't feel like doing that. Hmm, sketch, learn with us, YouTube. Treehouse paper, I might check it out. Okay, Treehouse paper, artist line. They have a whole thing with the Dollar Tree. Look at that. Well, I don't know. It might not be with the Dollar Tree, but Treehouse pad and paper. Ooh, the house gives 5% of its artists the income to support community art programs. I love it. Sketch, learn with us, YouTube. And they give a whole tutorial right in the front. That's actually really nice. I haven't seen a... Um, a sketchbook that gives a tutorial on the front. That's really cool. I like it. Um, you get 30 sheets. They are, you know, on the thinner side. So that's what I was gonna test out the pen. So like, look, I can, I can't see my fingers through the other side, but it's, it's pretty thin. It's not, a, it's not a, one of your thicker paged sketchbooks. So that's that and it's short. It is a, nine by six so it's on the shorter side so if you compare that with this other one that i picked up that's the size of that so it's about the size of this journal a little bit a little smidget better bigger and then we have this sketchbook i just happened to look down further on the um on the display and saw this one so this one the pages are you know someone still consider this thinner than your normal average uh 
art supply store sketchbook, but it's thicker than this one. It's the the it's thicker and it's like a little bit more um it just has a little bit more edge to it if I could if that's the right description. Um so yeah, this one's definitely thick. This one here is definitely thicker. And then this one is more in the pad style. This is in the book style, sketchbook style. And this is like a sketch pad, even though it says sketchbook, but it's more in the pad style. And the inches is 10 by eight. So almost the size of a regular piece of uh, paper. So it's a 10 by eight sketchbook. You know, you could probably store some sketches in here. They have the little a customizable cover, says it right there. So you can take this out and put your own uh artwork in the front if i can can i get it out Hold on now. well it's a well it's a uh, little stuck let me see let's see here um it does come out but then oh okay so you want to be careful again it's only a dollar but if you try to take this out it could have maybe i'm taking them too no nah, it's just like it's stuck down there. So you just want to be careful because then that this could rip because it's, you know, it's inexpensive. So it's not that strong. Um, so there's that. I'll probably eventually take it out, of course, because now that works. Yeah, it's definitely stuck from the bottom here. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. So anyway, you can customize the cover. If you can get it out, it's really stuck. Oh, well, again, I can go get another one. It was only $1.25, right? And I can cover it up with a piece of artwork. Like I said, the cover's customizable. The back is blank, so it's not black and like the front. Um, this is a vinyl. The front is a vinyl. It's not paper. On this sketchbook, both front and back are paper or cardboard. <clears throat> well, the back is cardboard, the front is paper. So that's that you guys the next the next video i'm going to go ahead and compare so i can cut this video short i'm going to compare i just want to see what these pens are looking like and i want to compare this micro with a professional micro that costs a little bit more so that'll be in the next video thanks for tuning in you guys um as i'm growing i hope that you all continue to like the videos bye pressing the like button the thumbs up and subscribing or hey tune me back in if you don't want to subscribe hopefully i'll come back up with a video that interests you and you'll tune back in and subscribe at another time but hopefully i'll get a like and a subscribe after viewing this video and hope you all take care have a great week